right, Head Rush. We got to talk. Um, something that has been coming up in the forums a lot, and I think you guys need to listen to it. I bought one of these and I ran it in the effects loop, and I'm going to show my um, argument as to why it should be there. So I've got a little bit different lighting situation going on. I'm trying to accentuate other things, and you'll see the ring light here. Don't worry about that. What I want y'all to worry about is this one block right here that's effects loop. Alright, so I got something preset up over here that you guys need to seriously consider adding for tone sculpting. So I'm going to give you a little demo now. This is the way cool 100 watt. Now once I turn this on, So what is it? It don't take a whole lot of R&D. It don't take a whole lot of research. You could easily add it into a update relatively quickly and satisfy a lot of people. You all need to start listening to people. This is, let me turn this off because it's glaringly bright. MXR 10 Band EQ. It's been around forever. Ever. And why the head rush has don't have one? I don't know. My Helix has one. My Impero has one. My GE 300 has one. And this big mammoth flagship device does not. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what the hangup is. So the frequencies that we have on this slider are 31.25, 62.5, 125, 500, which if you watch the rig rundown with Joe Bonamassa, he says what a lot of us already know. A lot of your meat in the guitar tone is between five and 600. Why don't you have an EQ with that? Sure, we have a parametric EQ, but there's also a learning curve with the parametric EQ. You know what I mean? Not everyone understands how to use it. 10 simple sliders, good to go. Carrying on, we have 1K, 2K, 4K, 8K, 16K. And I've got this in a reverse smiley face thing right here. And I'm going for more of that Marshall-y sound. You know, I'm not going for the Scoop Metallica thing. But it just adds so much more texture because of these missing frequencies. Because your ability to boost them. Now, if I set this thing flat, let's go on and do that. I'm not running the volume or the gain up or anything like that. All I'm doing is simply boosting frequencies. Right? So there, we're totally flat. You turn it on, there's no difference. Let's run that 500 up a little. So now we're getting that crank Marshall sound, right? So I'm going to take 16K down just a hair. Might not be your tone, but that's the frequencies that we need. We need a wide swath of bands to do that with. You know, maybe someone wants a little bit more 16K. 
So head rush, simple, EQ, useful, people want it, give it to them, very good tone shaping tool. Start listening, see you.